Hello there, I'm Srafanci and welcome in this tutorial where I will show you how to get that swipe on Tinder. Yeah, basically how to make a swiping mechanics for your games in Unreal Engine, something like this. You can also probably somewhere here seen how I am testing it on my mobile phone, it works everywhere, iPhone, Android, however you need. So let's stop wasting your time and get to the tutorial. Alright, I have here completely empty project with literally nothing, just with one level that I am going to use to test everything. So first of all you will have to go to project setting and let's check touch setting. Make sure that you enable use mouse for touch because you will need it to test everything and also right here you will probably have touch control by default setup so I would recommend you to click on this clear because you don't want to have it in there. These are basically these joysticks and if you are going to use swiping you probably don't need joysticks or you can combine them all up to you. I have also connected here my phone, so if you click here, you can see that my phone is right here, so I can test everything on that. So first of all, I will have to create blueprint actor, because I need to set up that code for swiping somewhere. So let's create here pawn and call it player. And let's call it player pawn to be precise. First of all, add here camera. And in front of it, let's add some sphere or just object. It doesn't really matter. We will, uh, I will add here just to mesh to demonstrate which way I'm swiping or how it is reacting, etc. etc. So let's move it way in front of the camera, compile. And it would be pretty hard to see if it was swipe like this. So I'll click on this material and create a new one. I just put here some red color so it's easier to see. I also created new game mode and set my player pawn as default pawn because now if I click play you can see that I have here my pawn. I cannot do literally anything but I have here my ball that will react to swiping. So let's close it and set up that swiping. That's probably what you are here for. Let's be real. The one way to do it is go back into project setting and set up here input. And you can set up here action mapping from touch, but you actually don't have to do that because by default in engine you have a touch input by itself. So put here touch input and we should have here simply touch. I had to put here input touch and not the other way around, but if you click on that, it's right here. We also need to create here a few variables. First one will be bo just boolean and it will notify us if something is pressed. So call, let's call it is pressed. Another one, actually another two, well, will be vectors, so vector 2D. And the first one should be called touch start. And the other one will just be duplicated from here. So duplicate and let's call it touch end. All right, so now when you press it, first of all, we will set is pressed to true. So take is pressed from here and just put it here under this spin arrow. Make sure that it's set to true and we also want to set here our touch start coordinates. So put them here again if you put it into arrow it will automatically switch them to this and you also want to right click on it and split structure pin. Then we need to take this coordinates from somewhere and luckily we can use this location. So simply take it from here, break vector and connect just X and Y. Then you also have to set up something for released, take touch end and connect it here and do the same thing. Again set X and Y. Alright now we want to use event tick. So first of all let's add here branch because we don't want it to tick all the time but only when your finger is touching the screen. So as boolean we will use our is pressed. If it's true we want to execute some custom function. Let's move this all down and create here that custom event. So right click custom event and let's call it check swiping. And from that event tick we will call exactly that check swiping. So take true pin and put here check swiping. So if your finger is touching the screen it will check everything that is after this. So first of all let's again add here branch because we need to check if the distance between these two is high enough. Otherwise it wouldn't be a swipe it would be just a touch. So let's put here touch start get touch start and touch end and we want to subtract them so let's take touch start minus vector 2d minus vector 2d put them here from this we will take vector 2d length so float bigger than float and we'll put it here and let's set it to 100 that's generally what works the best you can play with that as much as you want i will comment everything so how much to register swipe all right let's move it all bit forward again and after true we will have to do do once node so do once 
So after the ones, we want to again set our touch end coordinates, put them here, again split structure pin. And now we could again take these coordinates from here, but let's try the file method. We will get player controller, from it get input touch state, make sure that it's touch one, because from this finger we are also using finger one. And from here we have our x and y coordinates. And let's also make sure that it doesn't actually happen only once. We need to connect our release to right here. So every time you end your swiping, it will reset this do once node and it can calculate everything again. From here, we will have to run bunch of branches. So take it from here and put here branch. And as condition, we will again use our touch start, get it, touch end as well. And once more, subtract them. The value will be a bit different because we have set touch end here again. Now let's break that vector 2D or you can right click and again split structure pin. But this time let's actually break vector 2D so we look more professional. We all want to look professional. And simply convert it to absolute number. So absolute float, both of them. Then make sure that X is bigger than Y and use that as condition. And from this branch we will run two other branches to determine which direction that swipe actually went branch and branch. So for the first one, let's take X, make sure that it's bigger than zero. So float bigger than zero and connect it to the upper one. And we will do the same thing with Y. So again, copy paste, connect it to Y and let's connect it to here. So that should be about that. Just to quickly test it, let's put here print string to all of them print string and if it's this one it should be left I believe this one should be right and the other ones just copy paste and it should be up and down all right quickly compile and just test it and seems like it works if I swipe left it's left right right left right blah 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 you got the idea there is few stuff we can do to improve it and make it simpler to work with but before we do that I have to tell you something I have noticed that you are watching tutorial how to make swiping for mobile game I have a video where you can learn how to make completely from scratch and let's learn to get assets etc etc I've got link in the description or I somewhere here so I'm gonna stop bothering you and get back to this all right all right all right back in player pawn we will create here just a bunch of custom events so don't always have to use this left right blah 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 so let's go a bit up and put here custom event and that should be swipe left and do and do it for all of them all right so i have here four custom events for different direction of swipes so i can simply delete it here and after true let's put here swipe left swipe right etc etc all right that should be fine so now we have these custom events and we can actually finally do something here to do right here with our custom events with swipe left i want to take the sphere let's put it here and add local offset just to move it a bit and because it's a swipe left i want to move probably y axis about minus 50. Then let's do the same thing for right, but set it to plus 50. And of course, the same things for up and down. But we won't use y axis, but z axis. So z plus 50 and minus 50 for down. Connect it and make sure that your sphere is connected to everything. Now you can see that I can just move it around as I want. And I, I will also test it on my phone and hopefully put here a video so you can see how it is on the phone. And now to simplify its performance a little bit, I can take all this, right click and collapse it to function. That function should be right click rename and let's call it determine swipe direction. And if you also want to clear it a little bit here and want to have it more good looking, etc., let's move uh, check swiping here, select everything and right click collapse it to nodes. That collapse will be called swiping. If you can organize it a little bit. So you, let's say you don't want this to be crossing. So let's put that function up here by clicking on these arrows and you can rename that first one execute. For example, check swiping. This execute should be 
pressed, execute two should be release, and in vector should be just x and y location. Cool, compile, make sure that everything works. You didn't destroy anything by collapsing it, well you shouldn't, but it's always good to test it. And that's about it now. You should be good to go. Alright, that's everything. Hopefully now you have functioning swiping for your mobile game or whatever you are making it for and Sir Fancy out, I suppose, is what I would say normally, but first of all, make sure that you press the like button. Like, come on guys. Do you know how much time I spent on this? Alright, like 20 minutes, but it doesn't matter, you should press the like button nevertheless. Anyway, that's about it. We have a Discord channel, so if you want to talk about your games, about or anything, you can join it and now finally Sir Fancy out.